Welcome in Mabuhay in the Philippines, Rainer. Herzlich willkommen yeah. auf den thank Philippinen. Thank you, Andrea. Schön, dass du hier bist. Yeah. But now we have to talk in English, yeah? right? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> how, do you, how do you find your stay in the Philippines? Well, it's, it's my second stay, to, to be truly, and uh, getting more and more used to it. You know, it's, uh, it's an interesting country. It's uh, for our feeling, it's interesting temperature. Oh yes, when I look around, that that, yeah. that is very comfortable. Yeah. Huh? And it's interesting, it's a nice, it's nice temperature we just, because I just come back from Germany and we are closing winter time. So it's really. I nice remember the time when I was <laughs> in Germany. Sometimes it's really cold. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so it's quite, quite pleasant to be over here. Yeah. Here, here in the Philippines, you know, Rainer, the people tell me, the Filipinos tell me, at 24 degrees, it's already cold. Oh. <laughs> But we we are you know that we are picking up nowadays we are picking up the temperature and getting getting more well 35 it's, it's not unusual for us so it's a good training Rainer, how different is it from germany or other countries in the world you have done business with here in the philippines yeah i must say it is different uh, we have to learn there are many different countries we're working in there is different in europe there's different in uh, Canada, for instance. There are different in Australia. So uh, you have to learn about new countries. You have to learn about the mentality. And uh, we are here for getting experience in this kind of market. I remember our discussions in Germany and uh, uh, when we were starting. And uh, what, what is the most challenging for you, or what is the most uh, um, the biggest difference compared to other so-called Western Western countries? I think the uh, looking at the two states I have now, I think the biggest difference probably is the infrastructure. Uh, we have to we have to realize that uh, we are in a country where you have a different mentality. The people people see things different, and then we have to uh, look at the way they're working and not transferring our kind of work into the country. That is true for most of the parts in the world compared yeah. to Germany. That's absolutely right. Huh? You have to adapt, you know. You don't, you don't, you don't have to uh, push yourself into the country. You have to adapt to yeah. the people and then the, you see how it works. What, make you, what, uh, what made you decide to take, uh, take on the Asian market and uh, especially set up base here in Clark? I remember our discussions before. So what was the final decision for you? Well, there are, there are two questions. First of all, the market itself is very interesting. There are few things happen worldwide, and uh, uh, there are climate different. You know that we have over here in the Asian countries, we have more or less a frequent kind of rain, sa rain station. Then, uh, so we, uh, we are adapting this this part of the of the business and the second is uh, that uh, we already started in, in some countries we have businesses in, in hong kong we've done something in, in other parts like singapore yeah, so uh, that is that is that is one one step into it and uh, we you know we remember as we uh, as we talked about starting business the uh, the asian or the asian uh, community try to copy some some kind of European market. You mean the ASEAN, the, the Association ASEAN, of right. Southeast Asian yeah, Mar yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Nations? Yeah. Um, you remember at the beginning um, we were discussing, you were asking me uh, where can I locate uh, business or where can we start, where is a hub, where should be the location and then uh, very far, very, uh, I was asking you one question, do you, do you know the three? most favorable country in ASEAN uh, where you can start business or where a German entrepreneur can start business in Southeast Asia. Uh, and uh, do you remember? Yeah, uh, looking, uh, looking at, uh, at business or establishing a business, uh, especially if you, if you want to get your own, your own product, your own technology. No, taking the second part of the question, why we moved into Clark? First of all, uh, you, you went over here many times in choosing the location. <clears throat> but uh, if you move into a new market and you want to adapt your, your philosophy, you want to look for the best way uh, for your product, uh, especially if you think about German quality, 
you don't make your life difficult and go somewhere in the countryside. So Ted Clark or the Crowing International Com uh, Airport, there are lots of people, lots of uh, companies already in, at, at the place. So that is something to start off with. And, uh, and then you can, like throwing a stone into the sea. As the right? infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructure uh, is, is there. Yeah. Because it's completely useless to throw a stone in the sea when there's nothing around. Yeah, huh? yeah. So, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you have to grow and not 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 spreading your your business to each individual place. So starting from one center, and then you you move outside. That's, that's interesting what you say. As founder of of IS, I, I I have to mention it now, and uh, that is 25 years was 25 years before huh? um, today, um, so 1990. So I know you are you are you are you are shy and you don't want to hear that, but I want to mention and congratulate because that is really a jubilee. 25 years that is. That is yeah. extraordinary, and uh, uh, I hope uh, all the best for the next 25 years. Okay. <laughs> well, but it's up to you, not up to me, mate. <laughs> we, we do our very best. But yeah. what what is your mission? What is your mission or aim for um, the Philippines and this part of Southeast Asia? Because we are concentrating on the 10 countries of Southeast Asia. What what is your mission or your your aim for this part of the world? It is. It is difficult to explain it uh, in just a couple of sentences, but uh, uh, I try to to explain our philosophy. It is uh, it is a technology, as you say, which is uh, growing up, developed. It's not not a product which is finished. It's a product who been developed over the years. So uh, we have experience. We know we know where we where the product is needed, and you know what's happened nowadays. And uh, looking back these 25 years, as you mentioned. Uh, not only climate changes, all the infrastructure changes as well. So uh, uh, we uh, we try to to suggest to the people how they protect themselves, how they keep their property, and uh, uh, that how they protect their property, protect, yeah. protect their and property. keep it at, yeah. the, at the end of the day. Yeah, keep it, and, yeah. and especially if you look at the industry. I mean, how many how many companies are every year flooded? And uh, they they losing losing not just their property, their machinery. People can't work, and uh, that's a social f aspect. That uh, one flood is multiplying the, the losses uh, enormously. Yeah. And it is not only the loss of machines. Uh, that is what we realize more and more. Um, that is uh, loss of income. Sometimes factories are closed yeah. for months. Um, in smaller villages, that means, well, of course, there's also business. And um, what I recently heard in one of our flood control awareness trainings was that, um, yeah, the shops, the business stand still. That means yeah. everything stops. Uh, the owners of the company, they, or the company, they, they don't sell anymore. That means the owners have no benefit anymore. They separate from the employees, or at the end of the day, the employees don't have income, and whole parts of the city, of the village, of the city, of the country, have no more money. And that is a serious problem. You know very well, I have not to tell you, we're both Germans, sir. so in, in Germany it's different. There are a lot of insurances and the life is covered, uh, everything is protected in a way. Of course, people also lose some, something from time to time, but here it is, it is worse. No? I don't want to say that we are able to uh, to transfer experience from Europe to Asia, but in some ways we can. You know, we 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 have made experience uh, that people build building houses, beautiful like, houses like, like this, like, like this one, just yeah. on the on, on the riverside, and they they keep their finger crossed. There's one flood, and then never comes again. Nowadays, it's stupid to think about. It. So. Uh, uh, it's not just talking about flood protection. It is more that's our our part of our training to the people over here to make them aware that uh, uh, there are many things nowadays which can be uh, done and avoid flood. And, uh, I think they cut the grass now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, we we talked the last couple of days. I stayed over here to talk with these people, starting with. Starting with uh, with sewage, uh, yeah, they are not taking care of their rubbish. Yeah. They they build houses on on, on, the, on river banks and so on. So they use all these things, increasing the danger of having floods. That is something what uh, happens very often that uh, the unexpected yeah. appears. 
happens. Huh? And uh, do you think the the, uh, the Asian market, especially the Philippines, uh, the Filipino, the Filipinos, will be receptive to the new technology, to the new flood control technology uh, RS is offering? Well, uh, as I said, it's the second time I'm over here now and uh, we've talking to many people so far and even in the short time of six months I feel the difference that the people are uh, more and more interested in it. I don't want to say they are, they are just uh, open their arms and uh, uh, t take your welcome, but they listen what you're saying and uh, that is uh, what, we are, what, we are, what our experience is during the meet, during our training courses. People are, first of all, they, they come in and say, oh, well, what they what they're showing us. And uh, after a couple of hours, they realize that there is many things we give them on hand to to think about it. To just think about it. That, 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 that is the most important. To become aware. Yeah. Uh, I, of course, I also realize that, and we both know that. that this, uh, you know, we are bo both, tech uh, we both have a technician, a technical background and uh, tech technology, especially made in German technology, that is only one point um, here in the Philippines, here in Southeast Asia, um, to understand the people. And that is the reason why we have initiated this flood control awareness program. Um, to understand the people is all at the same time important. And if we only sell from a technical point of view, that is, let me say it, useless. And I'm happy that you always under, uh, support me when we are corresponding, you in Germany, me here in, in Southeast Asia and the Philippines, um, because if that is not the case, you you cannot make business in this part of the world. So uh, yeah, You have to have support from, uh, from from the company, from the headquarters, whatever you call it, uh, because... Uh, that is true. That's, yeah, that, that's why... That's why experience is in that market. It's it's important. We are not selling, we are not selling uh, uh, washing machines or something which is a, a straightforward product. We are selling we are selling solutions, and solutions are developed with the customer. Uh, and, uh, basically, you could say everything or nearly everything is custom made because the houses are different because the factories are different, because the, the riverbanks are different. So you have to see it on site and that's why, why you have to move into the country. Do, do you have a message to future clients of RS here in the Philippines? Well, the only message I have, be aware that uh, one never forget that it always will rain and then you always can be flooded. So take care, take care and look after yourself and prepare yourself for the next flood. Prepare is a good, 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 good thing because you have to go back to Germany. Rainer, I, I thank you very much and I hope to see you very soon. We meet regularly. Definitely, um, I have, have, a safe, <laughs> have a safe trip back home to yeah. Germany. And um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let, let's say goodbye and see you next time. For the moment, time. okay. Yeah. okay. Tschüss okay. und auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen. und gute Reise. Okay. Danke.